Okay, peace and blessings to all the viewers out there that I've been following along. And today is part three of the Curses series. And today's subject is going to be titled, The Transatlantic Slave Trade Was a Curse from God Upon the Negroes. Without further ado, let's get into it. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because that has rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, saying that thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. I will also forget thy children. So this is the verse that we're going to start out as we're going through this lesson. God says, Negroes are destroyed for lack of knowledge. And because we have rejected knowledge, God has also rejected us. And he was talking to our forefathers through the prophet Hosea. And this prophecy has come to pass. And this is why the European says that if you want to hide anything from a black man, you put it in a book. Because the black man won't pick up a book, even if his life depends on it. And because of that, God says, I'm going to reject you and your children. And eventually, God rejected us because our forefathers didn't keep the law. So the curses has befell us. So again, because of the law, God has rejected the children of Israel. Watch. My God will cast them away because they did not hearken unto him. And there shall be wanderers among the nations. So that was the part of the curses when God gave the covenant to the children of Israel through Moses in the wilderness. And if you follow my previous videos, then you're going to understand what I'm talking about. The scattering of the children of Israel from uh, to the four corners of the earth was part of the curses. And now the prophet Hosea is letting you know that God is going to cast them away because they did not listen to him. It will cast them away, referring to a future prophecy. And then among the nation, they're going to be nomadic or wanderers. Watch. And I will scatter you among the heathen and will draw out a sword after you and your land shall be desolate and your cities waste. God says, I'm going to scatter you Negroes among the heathen. And then when I scatter you among the heathen, I'm going to send a sword after you over there, which means you're going to be experiencing wars and havoc. So that's what he's saying, basically. I will scatter them as with an east wind before the enemy. I will show them the back and not the face in the day of their calamity. God's going to be scattering you among the, uh, the heathens and then he's going to turn his back on you. Because you did not want to keep the law. He's going to scatter you among the heathen and he's going to turn his back on you because you didn't want to keep the law. This is the reason why, uh, despite all uh, the prayers of black people on a daily basis, despite going to the church every single day, nothing is changing. They're still living in a very precarious economic and social conditions. This is the reason why, because God has turned his back on the Negroes and nothing is going to change until they turn back to the true God and keep the law of the covenant. O oh Lord, righteousness belong unto you, but unto us confusion of faces, as at these day to the men of Judah and to the inhabitant of Jerusalem, and unto all Israel. They are near and they are far off through all the countries where you have driven them because of their trespass that they have trespassed against thee. So basically, at this stage right here, the curses 
about slavery or the scattering of the children of Israel has already started. And he says that all Israel that are far away through all the countries, just like we read earlier, that God is going to cast them away. And this is actually referring to the northern kingdom. Because at this stage, they were already gone into slavery. They were already scattered through many countries. And if you watch my other video called the Bantus, the 10 lost tribes of Israel, then you will know what I'm talking about. So at this particular stage, the prophet Daniel is talking to the men of the southern kingdom, mostly Judah, Benjamin, and the Alpha of Levi. So they were still there in Israel, in Jerusalem particularly. But the other tribes, they were already gone at this stage. And then he said, confusion and shame unto us because we have trespassed, which means we have violated the law of God. That's why he scattered us among the countries. And you have to keep in mind that some of the curses are pertain to the northern tribes and other curses as also pertain to the southern tribe, uh, southern kingdom of Israel. So the 10 lost tribes of Israel, some of the curses fit those tribes and then other curses fit the other tribes as well. So you have to keep that in mind. But when you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, then know that its desolation has come near. So this is Christ right here speaking to the Israelite. He's speaking to the, uh, uh, to the Israelite from the southern kingdom, from the tribe of Judah. He's saying, if you see Jerusalem surrounded by the Roman armies, then know that the desolation of Israel or the destruction of Israel uh, of uh, the land of Israel is getting ready to happen. The Romans are getting ready to come in here and tear some stuff up because we got to remember during the time of Christ, Israel was, uh, was already under the rulership of the Romans. So he's telling them, this is a prophecy that is given to them. He say, if you see Jerusalem uh, surrounded by the Roman armies, you better get ready to flee into the mountains. And what you're going to realize is that the mountains that he was talking about was uh, the countries in Africa, the land of Africa. And hence, the second migration of the Bantus into Africa. And if you watch my video called uh, the second migration of Israel into Africa, then you're going to know what I'm talking about. For these are days of vengeance to fulfill all that is written to fulfill all that is written by the prophet that's what he says to fulfill all that is written by the prophet saying that the children of israel are going to be scattered they're going to be cast away among the heathen among all nations that's what he means so this is christ right here speaking to the israelite And they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into all nations. So now Christ is telling you how the rest of the, the children of Israel that remain in Israel from the southern kingdom are going to be led away captive into all nations. He said they're going to be fell by the edge of the sword of the Roman. The Roman is going to be slaying the Israelites is going to kill them and they're going to flee into the mountains into Africa hence the second migration of the Bantus into Africa or the Israelites into Africa and he says Jerusalem is going to be inhabited by the heathen or the Gentiles until the latter time that's what he means you shall father sons and daughters but they shall not be yours for they shall go into captivity you shall be scattered 
among the Hamite or the heathen, the indigenous people of Africa. And later on, the white man is going to come and take you into captivity, into slavery. You're going to be slaved. That's what it means over here. So basically at this stage, uh, the Israelite, all the Israelites has already fled the land of Israel. They went into Africa. And now we're getting ready to go into uh, uh, the deep water. And we're going to find out how they went into captivity from Africa. Now we're going to find out. Now we're going to go into the transatlantic slave trade. And you will understand exactly that the transatlantic slave trade was actually prophesied in the Bible. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. So now this is the hot spot right here. This particular verse goes into the transatlantic slave trade. And for the people that just uh, come into this knowledge, it's going to be hard for you to understand that he's actually talking about the transatlantic slave trade. So what we're going to do is we're going to break down these verses into pieces so you can understand that he's actually referring to slavery or the transatlantic slave trade. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. So basically, when God said, I'm going to bring you into Egypt again, he's actually saying, I'm going to bring you into slavery or bondage again with ships. And this time you're going with ships. Packed up like sardines and a cans. By the way, whereof I speak unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. So now, remember, God is saying that by the way whereof I speak unto thee, you shall not see Egypt again. So he's actually referring to when they came out of Egypt the first time through Moses. And God told them through Moses that the Egyptian that you see today, you're not going to see them ever forever. Uh, you're not going to see them forever. So if you consider this verse literally, so that means God is actually lying, which is not true. So God says, I'm going to bring you into slavery again. And remember, when they came out of Egypt and they went into the wilderness, they didn't need to build ships. They actually walked to, uh, 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 into the wilderness. And the Most High split the waters. So they can walk, so they can walk across the sea. So God is actually saying, I'm going to send you into slavery again with slave ships. And that actually, that's right. That right there goes uh, into the, tra the, the transatlantic slave trade. Say, therefore, to the people of Israel, I am the Lord and I will bring you out of from under the burden of the Egyptian, and I will deliver you from slavery to the, to them, and I will redeem you with an outstretched arm and with great act of judgment. And Moses said unto the people, Fear not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show to you today. For the Egyptian whom ye have seen today, ye shall see them again no more forever. So basically, God is saying that you're going to be sold unto your enemies during the transatlantic slave trade by the way of ships. You're going to be going into captivity, into slavery by the way of ships, and you're going to be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. And remember, Back in the biblical days, you would be able to buy or redeem a slave by payment. 
But this time, God says, nobody's going to be, be able to redeem you out of this slavery. Nobody's going to be able to redeem you out of this slavery because you are still breaking the law of the covenant. That's why you're going to be sold unto your enemies for slave men and slave women. This is the transatlantic slave trade. The transatlantic slave trade was prophesied in the Bible long ago. This is the transatlantic slave trade. And that's exactly what happened to the Israelite. And mainly to the Israelite from the southern kingdom. From the tribe of Judah, Benjamin, and Alpha of Levite. As prophesied. And remember, the other prophecies uh, 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 were dealing with the house of Israel from the northern kingdom. They were spread also uh, through the other countries among the Hamites in Africa. And after, afterward, the southern kingdom joined them over there in Africa. And eventually they got sold. They got captured and sold into slavery as prophesied. Just like Christ or the Messiah was prophesying in Luke. He says, they're going to be, they're going to fail by the age of the sword and they will be led away captive into all nations. And this is actually how they're going to be led away captive into all nations through the transatlantic slave trade. That's essentially what happened. And this is exactly what has happened to the children of Israel. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. And thine eyes shall look and fell with longing for them all the day long. And there shall be no might in thine hand. And God says, you're going to be over there in Africa looking at your children and your daughters being captured to be sold, getting ready to be sold, to be put on the slave boats, on the slave ships and to go uh, to, go to Europe and to the Americas. You're going to be given unto another people. Basically, it means you're going to be given to the white and your eyes shall look and you're going to be angry. But you're not going to be able to, you're not going to be able to do anything because I'm going to make you weak because you are on the curses anyway. And they shall fall one upon another. As it were before a sword when none pursue. And ye shall have no power to stand before your enemies. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods which neither thy, thy nor thy fathers have known even wood and snow and stone. God is going to scatter you via the transatlantic slave trade among all nations from the four corners of the earth. And there you're going to embrace a new religion. That's what it means. You're going to be called Christians and Muslim and you're going to be served other gods, wood and stone. That's what he means. This is exactly what's going on with the black man. We are serving other gods. And that's the reason why we have been uh, 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 cursed. That's the reason why we are beneath. We are the last in today's society. God says you're going to serve wood and stone. So basically, uh, uh, those are statues of, of, of uh, so-called Virgin Mary and, and, and so-called Jesus Christ on the cross. That's what he's referring to. That was a prophecy. It was prophesied that we're going to be uh, uh, serving under a, uh, uh, a different God of these other nations. Christianity was already prophesied. Islam was already prophesied because you can see these wood and stone. We are actually worshiping wood and stone. We are bowing down to those false gods, those false images, idolatry. 
This is what God says. I'm going to scatter you from uh, uh, to the four corners of the earth and you're going to serve other gods. The Lord shall bring thee and thy king, which thou shalt set over thee, unto a nation which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. And there thou shalt serve other gods, wood and stone. There you go again. And among these nations shalt thou find no ease, neither shall the soul of thy foot have rest. But the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart and failing of eyes and sorrow of mind. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee. And thou shalt fear day and night and shall have no assurance of thy life. In the morning you shall say, if only it were evening. And at evening you shall say, if only it were morning. Because of the dread that your heart shall feel, and the sight of your eyes shall see. Your heart shall be filled with fear among the Gentiles. You're going to be tormented by the police. And you're going to be you're going to be killed by your enemies. You're going to be out there talking about uh, uh, Black Lives Matter. Because you're going to be killed. No. Black lives don't matter at all. The law of the Most High does matter. Before black lives matter. That's essentially what we should, uh, black people should be talking about. The law of the Most High needs to be taken care of. Before black lives matter. Let me say it again. Black lives don't matter. If the law of the Most High doesn't matter to the black man. And ye shall perish among the heathen, and the land of your enemies shall eat you up. Because we didn't keep the law of the Most High. You're going to perish among the heathen. All the curses written in the book of the law is going to come upon you if you don't keep the law. That was the terms of the covenant. Now you have to suffer from the consequences of your choice. You're going to perish among the white man. And I scattered them among the heathen and they were dispersed through the countries according to their way and according to their doings. I judged them. So now the Mosa is, is telling you why he did this. He's telling to, uh, to the house of Israel, the northern kingdom, why I scattered you among the Hamites in Africa, why you were dispersed through the countries in Africa because of your doings, because you didn't keep the laws and worshiping other gods, the Gentiles God, the satanic God, just like your forefathers do uh, did, the voodoo and 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 all these other satanic gods going on in Africa. That's why you were dispersed among uh, uh, the countries in Africa, among the, the Hamite, because Ham was initially, uh, uh, Africa was initially the land of Ham. And the Bantu people that came down there later on, they were dispersed through the countries in Africa because of the disobedience to the law of the Most High. You were sold to the nations not for your destruction, but because you have moved God to wrath. You were delivered unto your enemies. This one goes to the southern kingdom. He says, you were sold the Israelite from the Bantu from the southern kingdom. You were sold to the white man, to Europe and to the Americas, not for the pleasures of destroying you. That's what God says. But because you have provoked the Mosai to anger, you have moved God to wrath, means fierce anger, because you have provoked 
the most high the anger. So he's going to do the same thing to you by sending you into captivity. By having your uh, by having you sold into your enemies. So now he's telling you the Israelite, the reason why. He dispersed the house of Israel among the Hamites. And now he's selling uh, the southern kingdom to the white man because of the disobedience. So now God is telling you exactly why. Because he didn't keep the law. James is servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad. Greeting. So now in conclusion, the prophet James is letting you know that the 12 tribes of Israel are scattered abroad among the nations, among the heathen, just like the prophecy says, which means that the 12 tribes of Israel are not in their land to this day. Just like Christ prophesied, says that there is going to be led away captive into all nations and Jerusalem is going to be inhabited by the heathens or the Gentiles until the, the time of the Gentiles being fulfilled. James is actually confirming what Christ has said. There is no Israelite in Israel today. The true, the authentic descendant of the children of Israel, they are not there. They are abroad. In Africa and all across, uh, all over the world, 